Well guys, that was Ashes gameplay footage highlights. A further look into the world of Ashes. Well, this trailer shows us quite a bit of stuff. We get an idea of what the login screen will be like, we get to see how the small village will look. It also shows off how different the environment is after a season change. Now that water isn't frozen anymore, you can go for a dip. Also, the gameplay shows us a lot of things that people thought were cinematic, or actually real gameplay. I had a lot of comments from people telling me that it was all scripted and a lot of parts were cinematic. And the trailer clearly shows us that these things are like the rock falling on the chest, the floor shattering, and the boss breaking its way into the treasure room all happen in real time, and that's awesome. And on the same note, people claim that the last trailer was most likely an instant dungeon. However, we can see in this footage that the character walks all the way from the town to the boss fight without a single loading screen. Yep, this is one of the open world dungeons. There will still be instant dungeon content, but there will be many open world dungeons to explore like this one. We can definitely see the targeting system is tab target now. I said it would be in my previous videos, however, we can see that the action and positioning elements are just as important, which should give the combat an action-like feeling. The animations still need some work, but the game is in pre-alpha. Hopefully, some talented animators will join the team soon, so the animations match the graphics on the level of quality shown. Also, if you are concerned about the UI, don't be, it's just a placeholder during the early development. And yes, I agree, the placeholder is fugly, but why make a pretty placeholder if it's going to be replaced? At the end of the trailer, we see Steven and Peter take on the spider boss, which you will notice is also affected by corruption. I'm seeing a pattern here for sure, but I will leave all that juicy stuff for the analysis video which will be following this one. Overall, Ashes is looking good, and has progressed quite a lot in three months of work since it was announced, and its first game trailer was debuted. If they keep developing at this pace, it looks very likely that they will keep their quarter four alpha test schedule. It's going to be extremely fun watching this game develop from pre-alpha all the way up to release. It's also good that the developers are sharing what the game looks like at every stage, a level of transparency that is extremely rare in the gaming industry. Well guys, there's going to be a lot of Ashes content released over the next couple of months, so make sure to like and subscribe so I can keep you guys informed. And as always guys, thanks for watching.